you're trying to conceive your TTC and you've done everything right again this month, tracking your fertile peak, having sex, baby dancing at the right time, before ovulation, during ovulation, after ovulation. And it's four days after ovulation now, four DPO. And you're wondering if you're feeling pregnancy symptoms. Is it okay to feel pregnancy symptoms this early? Can you feel pregnancy symptoms this early? Well, yes, I think that you definitely, definitely can. I had seven pregnancies and I always knew when I was pregnant, way before any pregnancy test showed positive. I just felt every single tweak, twinge and feeling in my body. Now I'm gonna share these with you and I really hope that this is your positive month. Hi, I'm Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. I really love helping you to understand what's going on in your body to really help you on your journey to motherhood. And if you're new to my channel, a really warm welcome here. Thank you for watching my video. And please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you get even more really great, helpful videos. You're only four days past ovulation for DPO and already you feel like something's changing in your body and it definitely feels different to what you feel like normally on your other cycles and you're really wondering if this could be really early signs of pregnancy. So what kind of symptoms can you feel this early on? What kind of pregnancy symptoms are you able to feel? I mean, how long does it take until your egg is fertilized and then implants into your womb lining? Well, it really does depend on when the sperm was inside of your womb and when you actually ovulated and when that egg was fertilized. So it's really hard to be completely spot on. So if you'd had sex before your ovulation peak, then the sperm could still be inside your womb and could have reached your egg quite early on after your egg was released which means that your egg already was fertilized and was traveling down into your womb lining. Now, I honestly believe that you can feel the changes, even though the egg hasn't attached itself to your womb lining, it's still sending off energy. And even though it hasn't attached to your womb lining, your body is already feeling the change. I really reckon that our bodies sense that already really early on because with me i had those feelings of just like feeling motherly that was my first really early one just an overcoming feeling of being motherly now if you've experienced that you'll understand what i'm talking about now the second one is as soon as the egg reaches the womb lining and starts to implant that feeling of implantation is definitely something that's unmissable. You feel it on one side of your womb and it could be a pinching, slightly pulley feeling, even like a pinprick kind of feeling. And it's on one side, in the front side, maybe a bit lower down in your womb. Now I do have other videos, there'll be links coming up across here. And they explain more in, more in detail what that feels like implantation. So go back and watch those videos after you've been through this one. Sometimes you'll even get implantation spotting around that time as well. So if you have had any like pink spotting, bleeding already, then this could be a sign that you have implanted. And along with implantation came this feeling of fluttering in my stomach, well, in my lower abdomen, this fluttering feeling. And it was linked to like slight adrenaline rushes as well. And I felt like, you know, the influx of pregnancy hormones in my body and those changes that happen like pretty much overnight, all of a sudden you're a mother, you have a fertilized egg inside your body and a baby has already started to grow and you're changing, you're changing and you can really feel that. If you're really in tune with your cycles and you've been tracking month in, month out for a while now, you probably will be noticing these really early pregnancy symptoms. Now, if it does help you, which I'm sure it really will, I've got an app and it's a TTC app. 
and you can go along and find it. Here's the link. And this app, you can ask it any question and it will take you to the exact point in my video where I explain all of those really early pregnancy feelings and symptoms. So it's a really great thing to have. So go along and take a look at it and it will really help you on your trying to conceive journey. Now, being alone on your trying to conceive journey is not something everyone wants either. Isn't it so much better to be surrounded by a group of women who really understand you, where you can feel so comfortable asking any question about what's going on in your body? Well, that group is my Facebook group and you're so welcome to come and join us. It's called Mama Meets and Midwife. And if you drop down in the video description, there's links to that and you can come and join the group and ask even more questions. We really look forward to welcoming you there. So how connected with your womb are you? Have you ever taken a moment to place your hands over your womb space and really breathe in and connect with her? This wonderful place of creation, our feminine core, is often forgot about, you know, nurturing her, taking care of her as well. And we do hold on to a lot of energy and emotions inside our womb space. And many of us don't even realise until we do actually centre and connect with our womb. And this is so important for your TTC journey. So if it's something you would like to find out about, I've got a free guide to self womb healing and you can get it at the link above here. Now this guide takes you through step by step, five steps, just how to go in to your womb space, connect with her and discover what kind of feelings and emotions you could be holding on to. Because when you discover them, you can start to release them. And when you release them, you create such a feeling of lightness and you step into your feminine flow, which is amazing for your TTC journey. Because really being connected with your womb and your core feminine energy is really vital for when you are TTC to really make sure that your womb is being nurtured. I hope this video has helped you today and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.